What's going on my spicy people? My name is Dan the Man, and welcome back to another Thomas Friends video here on my channel. And I'm back with another reaction video of another video by this person that I do know of and you guys might have seen my reaction to. It is, of course, NWR58, you know, the guy himself. Now, if you guys do or do not remember, I did a reaction to one of his series stories or his one of his videos of the series called Stories from Sodor. Not of Sodor, but from. You know, the of is for Victor and the from is for 58 himself. Yeah, so I did a reaction episode 1, which, which I think was called Trucks for Scrap. And that one was pretty good, to be honest, because I think that was like the first episode of what he made. And I didn't really know what to react to for today or something like that. But I thought, why not I do reaction to this one? Because, to be honest, I think these kind of videos he makes are really cool. Because these are just like normal Trackmaster and Tommy videos you know like the characters and all that in their par par parlor rail forms before they have paper faces and all that and actual voice actors i think that he has those in episode four i don't know i'll have to figure it out when i yeah i'm trying to remember it does anyways i guess i'll have to see what happens next when i when i do this and i don't know what else to react to but i do think i do know it's like randomness and all that but anyways yeah let's uh, get this started i suppose where I'm going to be, I mean, sorry, I'm, I'm just trying a little bit, I'm trying to figure out what to say right now. So today I'm going to be reacting to episode 2, which is called Donald and the Breakaways. Now you guys remember Donald and Douglas, you know, the two Scottish Caledonian twin engines? You know, the two ones number 9 and number 10? Yeah. So this is another video about them, and I think this is based off of, you know, you know, you know that episode with... Douglas and the brake van or the spiteful brake van. I remember that episode all those years ago and <clears throat> you, you know that okay mate okay maybe not that many years ago since I know I did see it when I was there in my days but the point still stands you know now I think this one's gonna be about Donald because you know if there was one about Douglas and a brake van then why not one about Donald and maybe some trucks or something or however that thing goes so yeah, I hope you guys are okay with my reaction to this, and yeah, let's see how this goes. If and WR, if you're if, if you're okay with my reaction to this, let's do this. You know, get it started. But before I do, however, make sure you guys check out the original video down below in the description. Subscribe to WR58 because he makes really cool videos, and don't forget to follow me on my social medias, Twitter and Discord. Links are down below in the description. And let's get start. And let's get started on with this video in three, two, one, and let's play. Our dudes, and I got the video up right here, of course. Another episode of the stories from Sodor. Yeah, I, I was about to say of for a second, but no. Episode 2, Donald and the Breakaways. I, yeah, I think that's how it says. Now, this is a episode 2 of the of the series, Stories from Sodor. Uh, I don't know why, but it is kind of interesting of how it's, you know, what goes around makes it another way around of how the titles can be changed as different. I don't know. I'm just saying in my own words or opinions. But anyways, uh, yeah, I, I'm thinking of reacting to more of these videos sometime in the future, like I said, but that depends whether I do have, st that those, be those will be a story for another day when I do have time, that is. But I do know that I'm going to be off on spring break, so I'll be able to upload as many videos as I can, whether it's double or a day or whenever, and so on. So yeah, uh, I guess let's get this started, because, you know, why not? And it is actually raining outside where I'm at right now, it's kind of like, almost so called in the middle of the night and it's about like i don't know what i think it's like 8 th 8 30 or something yeah probably 8 30 where it's dark and it's kind of raining but it shouldn't be that big of a deal since i like the rain you know anyways let's do this hope you all enjoy let's hear the story about donald and some uh, and the trucks and let go donald and Douglas, the swatches twins did not mind what job they did yeah They're mixed traffic engines. You know, whole coaches and chun trucks. Coaches or trucks, it was all the same to them. Which meant, as often as not, they pulled trucks. Since the big engines all disliked them. I see. They should learn the shun trucks all the time, or instead of coaches. You don't really like them, do you? 
James asked in amazement one day. It's Douglas. Ugh. It's all work, remarked Douglas. Douglas. If we didn't do it, somebody would. Go James ahead. marveled. He hated trucks himself, but he had to admit that Donald and Douglas managed to make them behave better than anyone else did. True. The secret, of course, was that the trucks had not forgotten an incident when Douglas had smashed a rude brake van. Oh, the spiteful brake van. An accident, really, but no one told the trucks, and they still thought that Douglas had done it on purpose. Not really, it was an accident. Keep on the right side of those two. The trucks had said to each other when neither of the twins was about. Yeah, I be careful. Uh, I, yeah, that'll teach those trucks, you know, not to mess with anyone else. Plus, I be careful those trucks if I, I be careful with Donald and Douglas. I were you, you know, to the trucks. They can't. They they may look like normal tender engines that are twins, but they could be, you know, uh, menacing. Not really. It's just uh, I I I heard some parodies are all about explosions and all that. I don't know. Ah, uh, yeah, the good old days of the model series. Anyways, back to this. One day, Donald had to take empty trucks to the other railway and bring back loaded ones. Yeah. George the steamroller. The empties behaved well, and when Donald reached the big station, he was feeling good. But he got those trucks licked into shape. He congratulated himself. Mm -hmm. What he didn't realize was the loaded ones he was going to take back were visitors. Visitors? And had never been licked in uh, okay. into shape by anyone. I got it. What's this? They screeched when Donald backed onto them. We want a proper Sorry. engine, not an old fashioned steam kettle. Really? They that's, should, of that's course, just, have known. Yeah, you know, rude right there. But then trucks never do. Yeah. Old fashioned? snorted Donald. I'll teach you a lesson. Take that. And he gave the trucks a hard bump. Like this, uh, boom, like that, there we go. The trucks sniggered. He's cross, they whispered. Let's have some fun. We'll teach them a lesson when we get the chance to. Everything's looking fine so far. No trouble yet. They behaved well for a while, and Donald began to think he had them under control. Like so the trucks, he should have known better. That's what they look, what they look like. What sound like with their old whistles. To be honest, I think I kind of like their CGI whistles, in my opinion, to be honest. But that's just my opinion. So, how- By the time they reached the workstation, Never mind. an axle box on one of the trucks had run hot. Run hot? What does that mean? Does that mean it'll explode? That one off the train. I don't know, I'm not good with, you know, trucks that much. But frankly, I don't care too. At the next station, the guard had to fasten the brake rod which had slipped on accidentally on purpose. Accidentally on purpose? One okay. followed another, and Donald became crosser and crosser. Wow. Stupid things, he scolded. But the trucks didn't care. What does he know about it? They asked each other. We're modern. We're not out of date like his sort. Steam kettle. Huh. Sa says you. You're, you're, you're just trucks. You know, like James says, you know, engines are important and trucks are not. They are the pride of the line and you are not. So get in line, you little... Uh, what's the word? Twats? Probably, I don't know. It's just... Uh, whatever. At the top of Gordon's Hill, Gordon stopped so that the brace could be checked along the train. Unfortunately, he what? restarted more quickly than he uh -oh. meant to. Was that an accident? And the jerk broke an old coupling, a few trucks from the end. Oh, shoot. That's Feeling bad. Snatch, Donald's fireman looked back. They were already a little way down the hill. Here they come. But coming after them and gathering speed on the are. slope. Better he go. He the last few trucks. We got to keep ahead of them, Donald, he said. Quickly now. I hope there's nothing in the platform at Edwards Station. Yeah, let's go. But we're supposed to stop there at least so these trucks. Objected Donald. Can't help that, replied his driver. If those trucks catch us, we'll stop even earlier because they'll knock us off the rails. But what are we waiting for? Asked Donald and put on speed. Yeah, let's go. Come on. 
was touch and go for a while if the god hadn't braked and it hadn't been holding the brake away slightly. That's a lot of them. He could have kept ahead. But he managed it. Just. They saw Edward's station in front. They better figure out something. Madly, Donald raced towards it. Whistling let the guard, the signalman, know about the trucks. The trucks followed, screaming with fright. Really? Quickly, the right. signalman summed up the situation. He set the line ahead as far as he could. Like that. And Donald clattered by safely. Good. Then That's... came the trucks. As for the trucks, what when happened? The signalman saw with relief they were slowing down. Nice. And by the time they reached him with just a groan of relief, they've stopped. I was about to say what happened. The station platform. All right. Well, they finally stopped, so that'll teach him for running away like that. The trucks that they are. The signalman set out an obstruction danger warning and set all his signals to stop. Good. Then he waited. For Do Donald? When he was sure the trucks had stopped, Donald stopped too, half a mile further on. Okay. We shall need permission to go back, the driver told the fireman. Nip back and clear the signalman, please. All right. Without permission, Donald was able to go carefully back toward the trucks. Good. He bumped them fiercely. Nice. Now, Donald, what do you have to what do you have to teach these say to these trucks? Teach him a lesson? You better. No, will you behave? He growled. This time, the trucks had scared even themselves. Good. Y yes, we we will. They quivered uncertainly. Good. That'll teach him. And Donald finished his journey with no trouble at all. But I don't think the trucks are ever gonna bother Donald again one day, don't you? Maybe that'll be a story for another day, as they all like to say. I don't think the trucks will be like any more trouble to Donald if he ever takes, you know, like visitor ones again or something like that. Don't you? I don't know, let's just say, uh, I, love it. I thought it sounded cool if I said it like that. But anyways, yeah, that is, um, of course, my reaction to Donald and the Breakaways, episode two of Stories from Sodor, you know, by N by NWR58 himself. Next time, I'm thinking of reacting to this one, the troublesome lorries, and knowing the horrid lorries that one episode of the three lorries you know the triplet brothers and the triple brothers or triplets yeah the triplet brothers it's probably something that got, has to involve them unless if i'm mistaken because i i do remember watching all these episodes in the past but i kind of have a bit of a so-called memory and all that whether i do remember or not or i don't know but anyways thank you all for watching hope you enjoyed i'll provide a link down below in the description and yeah I guess, we, and yeah, thanks again. Yep, that's it, everyone. That is my reaction to another episode of Stories from Sodor. Episode 2. Uh, Donald and the Breakaways. That's what I meant to say. Now, I'm not gonna lie, this was... I, I liked how this was, like, kind of a so-called sequel or cameo or something. Like, a fan sequel to, you know, Douglas and the Break Van. Or the Spiteful Break Van. I think that's what the episode was called. I don't know, but I remember the, the you know... The, in the old days of the model series, I think it was in season two. Yeah, probably season two of Douglas and the Brake Van. Oh uh, yeah, I remember the days of that. I like how they kind of. I like how he made this into like a you know like a fan prequel or sequel of Donald and all that because after having after having his tender crashed into into the signalman's box and all that. Which is, I still remember that they, I don't mean to talk sensitive about that to them. I still think it might have been, I guess, an interesting idea of how people can add sequels, alternate endings, or anything else to any original films or shows to stuff like this. I just hope this is working. Okay, it is. But yeah, maybe next time I'll rea react to episode 3, but for now I'm thinking of, you know, leaving it here for today. And... Yeah, I guess I know what I want to react to tomorrow, but I guess that'll be up to you guys, or something like that. Anyways, hope you all enjoyed, leave a like if you did, subscribe, turn on post notifications, and leave a comment down below if you enjoyed this video, because I sure did. And I guess leave a comment down below if you want to see my reaction to episode 3, because I'm definitely thinking of that. Anyways, thanks again for watching, I'm Dan the Man, and as always, I will see you guys next time in the next video, as I always like to say. 
Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.